if you want to get into IT, should you start with the CCST or the CCNA exam? Well, it depends. But first, what is CCST and how does it compare with CCNA? Is Cisco going to replace the CCNA by this new exam, CCST? I don't know, but let's find out. In this video, we're going to talk about the CCST exam. What is this exam all about? Who is this exam for? And what are the different specializations that we might find inside this exam? And how can you take this exam? How can you prepare for this exam? How much the exam cost? We're going to talk about this and a lot more in this video. So. If by the end of this video you still have any doubt about CCST, just leave me a message in the comment section and I'll get back to you ASAP. Okay, this is the official CCST website. And right here at the top, it says that CCST certifications help validate skills and qualifications for entry-level IT jobs. So if you're just getting started, you want to work at entry-level jobs, so CCST should be the one for you. Now does it replace uh, CCNA? According to Cisco, no, it won't replace CCNA. Instead, this can be used as a way to prove your readiness to take the CCNA or other certifications. So it's like the first step into IT and also in the different specializations that I'm going to show you. Uh, they have three specializations. They have CCST, cybersecurity, CCST networking and CCST IT support. So if you want to get started into one of these roles as a cybersecurity networking or IT support technician, CCST should be the right certification for you. Now, let's see what else we can find here. So, okay, let's take a look at the exams and trainings. Now, if you want to start training for this exam, you can actually take the training for free directly from Cisco. So let's take a look at the CCST networking, for example. So the exam will cost $125. Uh, and all of them cost the same thing. And the duration is up to 50 minutes. I believe they're going to extend the time for non-native uh, English speakers because that's what they do on CCNA and CCNP exams. Uh, if we were to take a look at the network technician path in Netacad, okay, we can see that it might take you around 70 hours, less or more, depending on your level, but this is targeted for beginners. So those who just getting started into networking, uh, you are required to have some basic understanding of operating system, computer hardware, but just basic stuff. And these are the different courses that you would have to take. So like uh, networking basics, network devices and initial configuration, network addressing and basic troubleshooting and so on. Now, one thing very interesting is that those courses, they are being delivered in different languages. So not only English, if you're not a native English speaker. So you have Arabic, Deutsch, uh, English, Spanish, French, uh, Portuguese, even Ukrainian. So depending on the course, you will see that there are different languages available. Some of them have five, some of them only have uh, more than three. OK, so for instance, this one doesn't have German. OK, so let's take a look at one of them. So networking basics, what are you expected to learn on networking basics? Well, the basic stuff like communication, network components, wire mobile networks, how to build a home network. And something that I really like about this course is that they are hands on. So there is no much theory. You learn the theory and you're able to implement using Cisco Packet Tracer, the network simulator from Cisco, and you can download it for free. OK, and you can see that for at least this course, it will take around 22 hours and you have a couple of labs. It is self paced, so no one will teach you what to do. You're expected to uh, be able to manage your time. You're able to study by yourself essentially so let's go back to the initial page okay so for cybersecurity that should be the same so 125 usd 
and duration 50 minutes. Uh, now the cybersecurity path will be the same. Okay, so it's around 120 hours and this is what you're expected to learn. So if you start with the networking, that should already give you some foundation. If not, you still have here some networking basics, uh, networking devices in, in the initial configuration. And then you go into more specific courses related to uh, cybersecurity, such as endpoint security, network defense, cyber threat management, and so on. Okay. So let's go back to the other one. So what they don't have at the moment of this recording is the training for uh, IT support. So they're still uh, under development. So probably by the time you watch this, I don't know, in the future, this course will be available. Okay. Now the cost is the same. If you feel that you're ready and you just want to try, you can actually try the exam right now. Okay. Now, if you want some more detailed information, about one of these specializations. So let's go to exam details. And here at uh, frequently asked questions, you can probably find a uh, answer to a doubt that you might have, and they were already identified and answered here. So for instance, uh, what job roles will these entry-level certifications fulfill? And here it says like you have network technician, customer support technician, uh, entry level cybersecurity positions such as cybersecurity technician, cybersecurity analyst, uh, tier one help desk support, and so on and so forth. Okay, so now let's talk about the elephant in the room. Is CCST going to replace the CCNA exam? I don't think so. And by looking at the CCST program, uh, I don't believe that Cisco planned CCST to replace CCNA either because uh, CCNA is now considered to be harder than before because now you get to learn about wireless, about security, about uh, data center. So now is the entry level for all these different specializations on Cisco track. As for CCST, it's kind of uh not so demanding as ccna but it's the right way to get started in case you want just to get started working and not dive too deeper into the different concepts that you would have to learn on ccna okay who is this exam really for well this exam is for those who just want to get started into it uh, in case you want to get into IT network, IT cybersecurity, IT support to work as help desk, uh, this CCST certification is for those individuals. If you're someone who is already studying for CCNA, I probably wouldn't recommend you to stop your CCNA and get back to or take the certification unless you really want to and you're struggling with CCNA. And so based on that, I would give you my approach in case I would be studying for CCNA. I would actually take the CCST exam because it's hands on uh, and kind of get you started really to start working. And instead of taking the CCNA exam, because uh, by taking the CCST, I already have some experience and fundamental knowledge about the networking or cybersecurity. I would jump right into one of the CCNP certifications, such as the Cisco NRC, uh, the Cisco Encore, or the Cisco uh, the Ministering uh, Cisco Firewalls, because those will be the next step and ones that are more in demand in the market. Okay, so that would be my take on how to combine CCST. Uh, with my career goal, with my professional goal, okay? So if you took value from this video, don't forget to subscribe, hit the like button, and I'll see you on the next one.